I haven't seen this crochet head scarves all over my Pinterest and uh, they look really really cute something like this I was really tempted to just go on Shopee and Taobao to just order one for myself but I thought it would be a lot more special if I make one from scratch it's been a really long time since I crochet something I am not sure whether if I still have it in me but I'm not gonna be following any pattern I'm just gonna freehand it I'm gonna be mixing these two yarns together I think they will look pretty cute as a head scarf and while I crochet I thought I should give you guys a little life update some of you might recognize this window if you have been watching my videos for a very very long time my lease for my rented apartment has officially ended and I decided to not continue it so I moved back home and I am genuinely so happy about this decision that I've made. It is officially an end of an era. I can't believe I'm saying this but I am genuinely so 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 happy to be back home because literally just one year ago I was kind of fighting with my parents to move out. Not exactly fighting but um you know it's not really in our culture to move out just because you want to. It's just not really that common here. Usually people move out because um, it's closer to work and whatnot. Even though it was a short one year and I've come to a conclusion that living alone is just not really for me. It has been a really fun one year and I've learned so much about myself. I do know that I'm really really lucky to have the option to choose. I don't regret my decision at all. I feel like one year is enough for me to, to truly learn about myself. I never thought this would happen but I even got rid of my fear of driving. I used to have such bad anxiety when it comes to driving myself to places. Another reason why I decided to not continue my list is also I feel like it's financially smarter for me to move back because I already know I don't like living alone so why put myself in that situation for any longer now that I've experienced that and eventually I'll also be settling down and I've been thinking of buying a house someday so just thought it's smarter for me to move back. It's actually 1st of August today. It's my official first day back home. I had movers move all my stuff in boxes back here yesterday. And the day before, I went back to do a final round of cleaning just to make sure everything is okay. I'm very happy to inform you I got all my double seat back. I was so nervous because I did make a few like dent in the wall um, because the paint was really old so I did take out some of the paint with me when I took out those tapes but yeah I got all my deficit back I know some people might think that if you have moved out and you're moving back to your parents place it kind of indicates that you have failed but I don't feel that way at all somehow maybe it's because it was never really like oh I'm gonna go out and you know make it on my own it was more of like oh i want to try this out i want to take this off my bucket list it was something that younger me has always dreamed of in the back of my head i always knew that i can come back because that's what my parents have been telling me as well it's not that big of a deal at all because at the end of the day it's just where you're staying and who you're staying with i just feel like i needed to give you guys a little context and some life update as to why the change of the background and you guys have been with me throughout the whole living alone journey it was really fun i'm not not sure what's next i'm just a girl navigating her life just really happy to be back home right now having home cooked meals every single day yeah that's my little life update let me just give you guys a little overview of what my room looks like right now i have a lot more things now because i literally moved a whole entire apartment back with me i can't believe i managed to unpack everything and put everything back to its place within just two days maybe it's because i'm just really used to the layout here and i know exactly where i want everything to be I think 
心态，不要想这样多。因为我之前就是那种一直想想想想想，然后东西就变得很复杂，然后我就什么都不想做的那种人。哦、uh, ，因为如果你不是的话 ，you only be constantly thinking about the what ifs， and I've been doing that for years. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I miss this so much. Hi, Ma. You learn Ma? You take you learn Ma? My mom makes the best curry fried rice. Hmm. Does my brow? Why does my brow look so dark from the viewfinder? It's been almost two weeks since I moved back. I wake up, have breakfast with my parents, get on my computer, and get some work done. Walk my dog in the evening, and spend my night watching anime these days. I just feel like it's not that interesting, which is why I didn't vlog. But that's exactly what I needed. Yeah, that's my current routine back home. For the past year, when I was living alone, I would constantly have this thought of needing to be productive all the time. I couldn't just sit still and truly let myself rest, or I would just be having this thought of like, why am I putting myself in this situation? Why am I here if I'm not doing something with my time here? Which is a pretty weird way of thinking. Um, when I was there, I never truly felt like I'm home. Didn't realize that until I moved back. But I do realize that I'm getting a little bit way too comfortable here because all I do is just watch anime at night. I'm using my monitor as like a light. Also, built my own PC. I'm making a video about my whole PC setup slash desk makeover. So. Stay tuned. I still have a few things that I need to get, but I've been enjoying playing games a lot recently. Also, have been obsessed with Kimi ni Toroke. I only have two episodes left with season three. I am trying to savor it because I love this anime, even though it's so slow sometimes that I'm getting a little bit impatient with them. But it's so cute. I feel like a little high schooler, giggle gaggling about puppy love again. Get dressed with me for dinner. I saw this hack on Instagram where you basically wear a maxi skirt as a bubble dress. I want to try to recreate that outfit because sometimes those fashion hacks that you see online kind of looks a little bit funny in real life. So I want to try to see if this will look cute. Okay, I see the vision. I'm wearing a belt and I just have everything tucked underneath it. It looks pretty cute, but I somehow just feel like I have my towel just wrap around my body and walk out of my house like that. Back from the groomer. Can we see the cute
Hello vlog. I just got this mic in the mail and it's pink. This is just a little mic test for those of you that is looking to get this Boya mic, Boya wireless mic. I don't know what's the difference between this one and the one that's black, but of course I had to get the one that is pink because it's just so much cuter to hold. It makes it feel like I have something important to tell you guys. Also, I have a little update on the hat that I was crocheting. This is what I'm currently working with. I'm still working on the triangle, even though two weeks have passed. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to do that.